myself <coughs> myself ketanam patel from mahatma gandhi institute of technical education and research center now sorry electrical engineering department subject is testing and commissioning of electrical equipments uh, fourth year seven eight semester chapter is transmission line now syllabus content first is insulator for transmission and distribution line second one is tower footing resistance and substation equipment third one is bus wire systems power cable and low power fact control cable contactor and fourth one is gis gas insulated substation now types of insulators there are numbers of uh, insulators are available first is pin type suspension type strain type and shackle type first pin type insulators a pin type insulators threads are cut at the lower portion of the special shape of porcelain threaded bolt is inserted into it and the bolt is fitted on the steel cores arm a groove is prevented on the top of the insulator in which the conductor is placed and the and it is tied with the help of the soft bindings wire when there is a slight bending of lines the wire is placed in the neck instead of placing it in the top groove and it is tied construction of insulator is made so that there is a sufficient porcelain between the conductors and the pin so that the sufficient dielectric strain is available the shape of the insulator is made calculated so that the length of the leakage and path increases which prevents the leakage of current from the conductor to the earth this portion is called the rain sheet due to the rain sheet the inner portion remains dry even during the drain single piece pin insulator is used for less voltage from 11 kv to 25 kv for higher voltage two pieces pin insulators for 33 kv or three piece pin insulator for 66 kv are used for higher voltage bulk of porcelain required is more and its shape becomes complicated so it is difficult to mould in single pieces to overcome this difficulty the insulators made in two or three pieces and these are cemented together then it is placed in the furnace the construction of single piece pin insulator here it is shown in figure the three phase pin insulators are also next is suspension type insulators pin type insulators are used up to 33 kv it can be designed for 66 kv but it's become bulky so it becomes ineffective as the insulator becomes useless when it gets puncture or mechanically damaged While in suspension type insulators there are different disk and depending upon the system voltage the required number of disk are used and a string is prepared when any disk is punctured or damaged only that disk has to be replaced and the whole string is not required to be replaced two disk of cemented cap type uh, suspension type insulators are shown to increase the length of the make leakage path grooves are provided due to this the inner side of the disc remains dry even during the rain a steel pin is cemented at the bottom portion of the disc on the top a galvanized cast iron cap is cemented groove is provided in it in which the pin of the unit above the above is fitted with the locking pin so that the pin cannot come out easily so the string is prepared using the required numbers of the disk a hook is provided to the top unit with the help of which the string is hung from the cross arm a clamp is provided to the bottom most disk to carry the conductors now next is sec strain type insulator when there is a straight run of the line the string in the intermediate poles remain in the vertical plane as the tension in the conductors on the opposite directions are equal and there is a tension due to the weight of the conductor only 
but when the line takes a sharp turn or in the beginning of the line or ending of the line the tensions are not balanced so more tensions is developed in the string so the string is required which can withstand such tight high tensile high force for this specially designed strain type insulators are used general construction of strain type insulator is that the same as that of the general suspension type insulator but these are designed for greater tensile strain to increase the strain two springs are joined in parallel so the tension is divided between the two strings axis of the strain type insulator in the horizontal directions while that of the suspension type insulator is in the vertical direction next is shackle insulator shackle or real type insulators are used in the beginning or at the end of the low voltage distribution lines or when the line takes the sharp turn it is the real shape with the hole at the center to the which the bolt is passed it is fitted with the u clamp and u clamp is fitted to the cross arm conductor is kept on the groove provided on the central portion and the tight with the top help of the soft winding wire so these are the types of the insulators now equipments used in substitutions there are number of substitutions equipments are bus bar power transformer instrument transformer circuit breaker isolator fuses lighting arresters insulators i think of switches sunder capacitor reactors fire fighting equipments substitution auxiliary supply and control room in bus bar arrangement the term bus is derived from the word omnibus bus means means a collector of things bus therefore refers to the main collectors of electrical energy which may be bars rods tubes and channels any electric bus collects electrical energy at one's locations and bus bar is the conductor through the which the current flow the materials normally used for bus bars are copper and aluminum outdoor bus bars generally mounted horizontally insulated from each earth by post insulators made of porcelain outdoor bus bar are widely spread to prevent birds with the large wing spread causing the short circuit of the buses indoor buses may be open or closed cross section of the bus bar is to be decided into the following consideration first is it should be able to carry the current without any under heating the current density adapted for outdoor copper bus bars is about 200 ampere per mm square and for indoor enclosed bus bars is around 110 ampere per mm square for aluminum bus bars current density at 61% of those of copper are usually permitted corona must not be formed at normal operating voltages in other words the surface electric field stays must remain below the corona inspection value which may require larger cross sections area at higher voltage levels hollow bus bars may be used to prevent corona now next is transformers a transformer is a static device used to transform power from one voltage level to another voltage level without changing the frequency transformer can be classified into the two types power transformer and instrument transformer power transformers like a step up transformer are used for generating stations to step up the voltage or transmission where the step down transformers are used at receiving and substation to step down the voltage for secondary transmission and primary and secondary distribution in case of transformer large kv ratings a single three phase unit or three single phase units are used single three phase units are economical and occupy less space we consider are also rela- relatively simpler but the single phase units are easier to handle they are the however more expensive and require more spaces tape changing transformers are preferred st- 
star delta or delta star connections are used if star star connection is used then the delta connected tertiary winding may be necessary to suppress harmonic voltage generally more than one transformer will be used for better reliability the total mva capacity of these transformers is the mva rating of the substation instrument transformer current and potential transformer ct and pt are required for two purposes for metering and for relaying and protection ct steps down the step current system current to a low value and potential transformer step down the system voltage the rated secondary current of ct is generally 1 by 2 by 5 ampere and the rated secondary voltage of pt is generally 100 by 100 or 110 and 120 volt now circuit breaker circuit breaker is a device which can interrupt a section or a circuit automatically if an abnormal or faulty condition exists in that circuit section um, under normal operating conditions the contacts of each pair close on themselves and the circuit breaker is said to be closed if the event of any abnormal situations movable contact of each pair is made to open against spring forces by mechanical devices through a trip circuit energized by a battery the trip circuit is actually by one or more relays which sense the abnormal conditions the relay and the circuits breakers act as a compactness components of protective devices next is isolator isolator are used for isolating the circuit when the circuit current has already been interrupted isolator is a manual or motor operated discounted switches they are provided for isolating all circuit breakers for maintenance R and repair isolator are also used for disconnecting lines and allow the equipments to be taken out of the systems for repair and maintenance and testing purpose so isolator will be operated from ground level by means of either a lever or rotating crank mechanism fuses a fuse is a non adjustable direct acting single phasing devices that responds to both the magnitude and duration of current flowing through it next is Lightning arrester. All the equipments in the outer sh session should be protected against direct lightning shocks and traveling waves reaching the strain over the transmission lines. Surge diverter bypasses the surge voltage to the earth, bus holding the voltage across the protected ice insulations to a safe value. For important equipment, station type lightning arresters are used. Arcing horns or road gaps are used for less important insulations. For example, transformer insulation should be protected by a lightning arrester, while the transformer boosting insulation may be protected by a road gap, and an ins isolators may be equipped with an arcing horn. Arrester should be located immediately adjacent to the transformers if the connections between the transformers and the bus is made by overhead lines if a high voltage cable is used for connections the arrestor should be placed both near the switch yard terminals of the cable and adjacent to the transformer terminals next is insulators porcelain insulators are used in substation to support and insulate the live conductors and bus bars earthing switch it is connected between the conductor and earth. Normally it is in open positions. However, when the line is disconnected, the switch is closed to discharge trapped charge to ground. Send capacitor reactors. These capacitors supply reactive power to the loads and thus help in improving the power factor. Sometimes reactors may also be used to absorb reactive power supply by the line. Firefighting equipment. Firefighting equipment such as carbon dioxide cylinders 
on wheel trucks fitted with the suitable metal hoses nozzles and sand and water buckets and adequate capacity should be provided in all substation to deal with the fires likely to be encountered all fire fighting equipment should be located at convenient places next is substations auxiliary supply in any substation it is practiced to connect the two transformers to the 11 kv main bus bar for the supply of auxiliary at a voltage of 400 by 230 volt electric supply is required for auxiliary like lighting circuits air blast of power transformers battery charging sets oil servicing facilities compressors units ventilating fans of the station buildings water supply and head heating systems equipment and control room control rooms of a substation houses instrument panels various types of relay battery and battery charging equipments required for trip circuits supervisory control apparatus and telephonic systems protective relay are classified according to their functions for example work on relay operate when the current magnitude exceeds a prevent value other types of protective relay provide protection for the abnormal faulty conditions so these are the all types is uh, equipment used in substation now bus bar arrangement here the types of bus bar arrangements are single bus bar single bus bar system with special sectionalization double bus bar with single circuit breaker double bus bar with two circuit breaker breakers and half with the two main buses main and transfer bus bar double bus bar with bypass isolator and a ring bus <coughs> first single bus bar system in single bus bar arrangement the single uh, has a simplest design and is generally used in small outdoor substation primary distribution level having a relatively few incoming and outgoing lines and feeders it consists of a single bus bars and all the incoming and outgoing lines are connected to the same bus bar incoming lines are in connected to the bus bar through isolator and circuit breaker outgoing lines are connected to the isolators circuit breaker and step down transformer from the bus bar each circuit is protected by its own circuit breaker and each circuit breaker is flanked by the two isolators in major drawback of these systems is that if the fault occurs or any sections of the bus bar the entire bus bar is to be de-energized for carrying out the repair work so this results in loss of continuity of services of all feeders and lines similarly periodically maintenance work on the bus bar can also be carried out by disconnecting the whole supply the equipment connections are very simple and hence the system is very convenient to the operator this arrangement is not popular for voltage above 33 kv the indoor 11 kv substations often use single bus bar arrangement its merits is each of the outgoing circuits require a single circuit breaker so this type of arrangement is a cheapest one the relaying system is simple the maintenance cost is low the bus bar potential can be used for the line relays and its disadvantages is maintenance without interruptions of supply is not possible expansion of the substation without shutdown is not possible okay now sectionalized single bus bar system the sectionalization of the bus bar ensures continuity of supply on the other feeders during the time of maintenance or repair of one side of bus bar the whole the supply need not be any substations the number of subsection of the bus bar usually two or three sectionalizing of the single bus bars number of sectionalization is limited by the short circuit current to the handle another advantage of sectionalization is that the circuit breakers of low braking capacity can be used in the section as compared to the previous 
uses. In case of duplicate feeders, they are connected to different sections of the bus bars so that in the event of fault on one of the bus bar sections, the feeder connected to it are immediately transferred to heavily bus bar sections and the faulty sections is isolated. The two sections of the bus bar connected through a section circuit breaker and two isolator sectionalizing of the single bus improve stability. Previous of bypass isolators between the bus bars and the circuit breakers allow the circuit breakers maintenance without loss of that circuit or section. Its advantages is the operations of this system is simple as in the case of the single bus bar. The maintenance cost of the system is compared with the single bus bar. For maintenance or repair work of the bus bar, only one half of the bus bar is required to de energize. So complete shutdown of the bus bar is avoided. It is possible to utilize the bus bar potential for line relays. In this analysis, is in the case of the fault on the bus bar, one half of the sections will be switched off. For regular maintenance also, one of the bus bar is required to de energize. And for maintaining or requiring a circuit breaker, it is required to be isolated from the bus bar. Now, double bus, double breaker arrangement. Double bus bar with two circuits breaker, this is a simple and flexible management. <coughs> it is expensive and hence it is rarely used. When it is used, it is used in large generating stations which require highly security connections. It provides the best maintenance facility for maintenance to be carried out on the circuit breakers. This, when one circuit breaker is open for maintenance or repair works, the load can be transferred on to the other circuit breaker very easily. Between the main buses are two breakers and one circuit. This arrangement allows for any breaker to be removed from services without interruption to a services to its circuit. A fault on either of the main buses will cause no circuit disruptions. A breaker failure will result in the loss of the one circuit. The scheme provided double field to each circuit. Thus, it gives very high reliability and operationally flexibility. However, the same involves high cost having two circuit breakers per circuit. Its advantages is two circuit breakers in each circuit has flexibility to connect the feeder circuits to any buses. For service maintenance, any breaker can be taken out and its high reliability. Its disadvantages is more expensive. If circuits are not connected to the both side buses, the bus bar loses half the circuits for breaker failure and interrupt supplies. Main and transfer bus arrangement and second one is ring main arrangement. In main and transfer bus bar, this arrangement is an alternative to the double bus bus scheme. It consists of two independent buses, one of the which is normally energized under normal conditions all circuits are tied to the main buses. The transfer bus is used to provide services through the transfer bus tiebreaker when it becomes necessary to remove a breaker from service only one breaker at a time can be removed from services and the transfer breaker takes its place when it is out of service. In a substation to work on a bus bar, it is often necessary to remove it from service. This is possible only by transferring the load to the other bus bar. This is not possible in this scheme and the absence of this facility to remove any bus bar from services is only drawback. I answer, uh, answer supply in case of bus fault, its advantages is in case of any fault in a bus, the circuit can be transferred to the transfer bus. It is easy to connect the circuit from any bus. The maintenance cost of substation decreases. The bus potential can be used for relays, easy of expansion. These advantages requires one extra breaker for the 
first tie. Switching is somewhat complicated while maintaining a breaker. Failure of bus or any circuit breaker result in shutdown of entire substation. Double bus bar and then ring main substation. In ring main arrangement, this is an extension of the sectionalized bus bar arrangement. By using two buses coupled, the ends of the bus bar are returned upon themselves to from the ring. The sectionalizing and bus coupler are in series. There, are, there is a greater flexibility of operations. This arrangement allows the circuit breaker maintenance without interruption of service to any circuit. A fault on a feeder result is in the loss of breaker on each side of the feeder. The scheme provides high reliability and operational flexibility at a cheap cost. This is the not commonly used arrangement at present. Different types of ring or mesh buses utilize are simple ring, rectangular ring, circular ring and zigzag ring. So these are the different different types of bus arrangement. Now power cable. The general construction of underground cable and its uh, different cable, insulation, metallic sheet, bedding, armoring and serving bed core or cable or conductors. Function of this core is to carry current. Core is made of the copper aluminum. Standard core is used. Flexibility is increased due to the, the stranding. One core, two core, three core, three one half core, and four core type cable are used. Second one is insulators or insulations. Insulations is necessary between the conductor and the earth in single core cable in between conductors and between conductors and earth in multi core cable. Different types of insulations are used paper, varnish, cambric, rubber, vulcanized bitumen, oil, emigrated paper, PVC, metallized paper, etc., are used in substation insulations. Next is metallic sheath. Moisture is the major enemy of the insulations. Dielectric strength of insulations decreases when the moisture enters the insulations. So it should be seen that the moisture does not enter the insulations. For this, seed of the lead or lead alloy is provided over the insulations. Sometimes seed of aluminum is provided when the core is made of copper. Bedding. Bedding is used to protect the seed from mechanical damage. Tap of the jute is wound over the shaft. Armoring. Armoring is used to protect the cable and mechanically damage for these two layers of steel taps or two layers of galvanized steel are wound over the bedding and serving serving layer of the jute is provided over the armoring which is called serving now uh, classifications of different types of cables on basis of number of core 1 core 2 core 3 core 4 and 4 core and 3 1 amp core classification basis of the voltage classification basis of space applications classification basis of insulations classification on the basis of sheath classification basis of armoring and classes of basis of construction there are numbers of classification of the cables Low tension cable. Uh, Vulcanized engine rubber VIR cables are manufactured for the voltage ratings of 250, 440, and 650 up to 1100 volt. Aluminum or copper core is used. Insulation of VIR is provided on the core. Branding of cotton, tough rubber sheet, or metal sheet is used. PVC cables are becoming popular in this. There is an insulation of PVC over the copper or aluminum core. Seed of PVC is provided over the insulations. There is an armoring of steel tape or steel wire over the seed. There is a covering of PVC cover, the armoring which works at the evening. 
PVC cable are manufactured in the 250 by 400 volt. Nowadays, 11 kV PVC cable are also manufactured. The following advantages of PVC cable are direct strength is more, mechanical strength is more, increased resistance against moisture, life is long, there, there is a resistance against of fire, giving good porcelains against acids and alkalis, it is not affected by termites, it can be bent into the small radius. Now, belted cable. Belted cables are used for the medium voltage construction of similar to the LT cables. There is a paper insulation surrounding the core which is called the belt. The construction view of the different type of belted are here. See three core okay, shaped cable, round core, three core cable, four core cap shaped cable, seed armoring serving cable are shown in the figure. Belted cables are not used for high tension voltage. This is the because tangential stresses are produced in paper insulation due to the dielectric field and the high voltage. Now, the strength of the belt insulation is less tangential directions compared to that in the radial directions. Moreover, the dielectric loss does not remain uniform. As a result, voids are produced and wrinkles are produced in paper due to its more thickness which is not desirable for the insulators. Next is screen or edge type cable. This type of cable was developed by M. Hostelator. So this type of cable is known as edge type cable. Each one is insulated and then a screen of metallized paper is wound around it. So this type of cable is called the screen type cable. Metallized screen is performed so the process of impurities can be done easily. Filter material used in the center of the surrounding space is of copper. Copper woven tape is wound for this. There is lead sheet surrounding this. At the lead sheet and metallized coil foil both are the earth potential. The dielectric force become radial heat dissipations increases due to the horizontal vapor. The increases the current carrying capacity of the cables. This type of cable is used up to 66 kV. Now, uh, SL cable, HSL cable and super tension cable. In SL cable, SL cable means separate lead sedate cable. In this type of cable, there is a paper insulation surrounding the core. There is a separate lead sheath over each core. So all the three cores work as a separate cable and the dielectric stress become radial. No overall lead sheath is used surrounding the three cores. Bending, armoring and serving are provided like other cables. HSL cable. This type of cable is the combination of H type and SL type cables. Paper insulation is provided over each core. Metallized paper is wound over the insulation and lead seal is provided over this. Filter space is filled with copper woven fiber material. Bedding, armoring and serving are provided is as usual. Advantages and disadvantages of this type of cable are as shown in H type of cable. Now super tension cable. Cable discussed above are cold solid type cables and these are the available for voltage up to 66 kV. In this no additional arrangement is made to prevent the formations of voids. If the cables are to be used for 132 kV and 220 kV, arrangement has to be made to prevent formations of voids and use the increases dielectric strength. This can be achieved by two ways, by using the oil fill cables, by using the gas fill cable. Oil fill cable, in such oil fill cables, low viscosity oil is used for impregnations. Oil is kept under pressure so that possibility of formations of voids is decreases. There are three types of constructions of oil fill cable. Single core cable with oil channel in conductor, single core cable with oil channel in seed, three core cable with oil channel in filler spaces. Single core cable with oil channel in conductor. In this 
hollow spiral of steel is used. Connectors are kept around the spiral. Oil under pressure is kept in the cavity of the spiral. Insulation, bedding, brass, tap, armoring and serving are provided. Then, in gas fill cable or pressure cable, this type of cable is given in triangular shape. Each core is insulated with paper. Lead sheet is kept around. Lead sheet. The cable is then kept in the steel pipe. Nitrogen gas is the pressure of 12 to 15 atmosphere is filled in the pipe. Due to the high pressure gas, there is an increase in the working voltage on the cable also. Single core cable with oil channel in sheet. In this type of oil field cable, the core is solid and stranded. There is a insulation around the core. To provide the oil channel, notch are cut in the seed or the spacers are provided between the insulation and seed. Three core oil field cable with oil channel in the filter space. There are three cores in this type of cable. Screen is provided over the insulations. Three numbers of perf perf preferred metal ribbons tubes are kept in the filler spaces. Oil at pressure of 3.5 kg per centimeter square is kept in these tubes. Tanks are provided at certain intervals. To maintain the oil pressure takes a joint with this cap tubes. Now, methods of laying cable. The following are the methods of laying cable are laying in ground, direct laying, drawing system or duct pipe laying, solid system or through laying and raking on wall or on and overhead structure and raking in tunnel. In direct laying, in this method the cable is laid directly under the ground. A bed of sand 100 mm thick is provided. Cable is laid on the sand. Sand prevents the entry of the moisture from the soil in the, into the cable. Bricks are placed on the sides and above the cables that the trench is filled with the soil. Where there are more than one cable are to be laid. Distance of 400 mm has to be kept both in the horizontal and vertical directions. The, this prevents the effect of heating of one cable to the other. In drawing system, in this method, trench is dug in the ground and conduits. Ducts or tubes made of iron or galvanized snow where the cement concrete are placed in the trench. Then the cable is drawn into the manhole. This method is useful for the small length, for example, for fox up, railway crossings, etc. Racking on wall and overhead structure before the racking on wall a solid system on true laying in this method throw made of the cast iron stone where asphalt or treated wood are kept at the reasonable depth in the ground cable is kept in the two and it is filled with compound of asphalt or bitumen cable used is of the lathe seeded type. There is no necessity of providing the armoring of serving as the bitumen compound filled in the tough provides good mechanical protection. Okay, in racking on wall and over structure, the cast iron brackets are fitted on the wall at certain interval. Then the cables are kept on the bracket. In racking in tunnel, in this method, the tunnel is shown in the figure. The prepared in the foundations or flooring of the buildings. Cable is kept in the tunnel. Now, Moore loop test. This is various types of uh, uses. Moore loop test is used to find the fault locations in an underground cable by making one western breeze in it and by comparing the resistance we shall find out the fault locations 
the necessary connections of the Moore loop test. The circuit found connections for finding the fault locations when the ground fault occurs. The circuit connections for finding the fault locations when the short circuit fault occurs. In this test, the fault cable is connected with the sound cable by low resistance wire because the resistance should not affect the total resistance of the cable and it should be able to circulate the loop current to the bridge circuits without losses. The various resistors R1 and R2 are forming the ratio arms. Balance of the bridges is achieved by adjusting the variable resistor. G is the galvanometer to indi indicate the balance R3 plus Rx. Is the total loop resistance formed by the sound cable and the faulty cable. So as the balance conditions R1 by R2 equal to R3 by Rx. Now R1 by R1 plus R2 divided by R2 equal to R3 plus Rx by Rx. So Rx equal to R2 by R1 plus R2 in bracket R3 plus Rx. When the cross section the area of the board sound cable and faulty cable are equal, then the resistance of the conductor are directly proportional to their length. So in Moore loop test, the fault resistance is fixed and the, it may be not be varied and also it is difficult to set the bridge off as a parent. In Worley loop test, this test is used to find fault locations in an underground cable by making one on western bridge in it and by comparing the resistance we shall find out the fault location instead of calculating it from the known length of the cable. The necessary connections of the Worley loop test the, and for finding the fault locations when the ground fault occurs, the circuit connection for finding the fault locations where when the circuit short circuit fault occurs. In this case, faulty cable is connected with the sound cable by a low re resistance wire. Become the resistance should not affect the total resistance of the cable and it should be able to circulate the loop current to the bridge circuits without loss. Now, very worldly loop test is valid only when the cable sections are uniformly throughout the loop. The current flowing through the cable in case of the temperature effect. Due to this temperature effect, the resistance of the cable would change. Thus, we need to apply less current to this circuit to carry out the experiment. Now, GIS insulated substation, gas insulated substation. In GIS insulated substations, in an uh, electrical substation in which the major structure are contained in a sealed environment with sulfur hexafluoride gas as the insulating medium. GIS uses sulfur hexafluoride gases which has the sulfur dielectric properties used in a moderate pressures for phase to phase and phase to ground insulations. In GIS for high voltage conductors, circuit breakers, interrupts, switches, CT, VPT and lighting arrestor are in asepsic gas inside the ground metal enclosure. Characteristics of asepsic gas Asepsic is colorless and chemical neutral gas. Asepsic is five times heavier than air, is not toxic and has no dangerous components inside. Asepsic is no hazardous material. Asepsic has no dangerous components inside, has no impact for the ozone sphere, is a potent greenhouse gas. Asepsic is importance of gas insulated substation. Importance of GIS. GIS substations are used where there is a space for providing the substation is expensive in large cities and towns. In normal substation and clearance between the phases, two phases and phase to ground is very large. Due to this, the large space is required for more for the normal and air insulated substation. But the dielectric strength of the SF6 gas is higher compared to the to the air, the clearance required for phases to phases and phase to ground for all equipment are quite lower. Hence, the overall size of each equipment and the complete substation is reduced to about 10% of the conventional air insulated substations. Locations of the gas insulated substations Large city and towns, underground cables, substation, 
highly populated and silent environment into gis occupies very very likely space little space substation and power stations located off so mountains and valley regions as us now advantages of a sub6 gas insulated substation it is safe reliable space saving economical maintenance free low weight shop assemble its disadvantages are its cost is higher compared to the air insulated substation or conventional substation procurement of a sub6 gas and supply of gas is to be site is problematic normally these type of substations are indoor type and require separately buildings maintaining cleanliness is very important dust or moisture inside the components case the flash overs when fault occurs internally the outstretched period will be very long this damage effect will also be so so in india uh, first 220 kv first gas insulated substation in india base and uh, four base and 110 kv 11 base gis was installed by tata electric corporation in its karnak receiving stations in south mumbai in 1988 okay so these are the different types of advantages and disadvantages of uh, gas insulated substations thank you